as experiences go, I imagine having a crowd saluting you like that after your last game at the Briar must be a, a pretty cool thing to go out on. Yeah, that was a fun one. We had some guys at the other end of the sheet that were kind of chirping us the whole game and kind of felt a little bit like a football game, and I just love that. I love the atmosphere. I think uh, I think this weekend will be great here, and it was cool to be part of it for, for at least a draw. You know, we've talked about uh, all the young guys that are rising up this year in the Briar, and uh, you've now gone through this as a skip. If you could tell some of the young players out there why they should aspire to be in this, what would you tell them? Why is this such a cool thing? The Briar is everything you think it is. It's um, it's one of a kind. It's uh, it's tough. It's tough. It's a grind. It doesn't stop. But man, is it? It's it's so fun to be a part of. Um, growing up, I watched it every year, dreaming of dreaming of being here and. It's exactly as I hoped and more. And uh, yeah, I think this weekend's going to be crazy. And seeing the crowd this weekend will keep me hungry to come back and, and finish it off next time. Yeah, and you talked, you touched on some of the things that uh, that were learnings for you and your team. Is it yeah. just the grind of it? Is that the biggest thing? <sighs> yes and no. I think like to win an event like this when it's so even, you have to be on the right side of the inch, and we just weren't. Yeah. And we weren't good enough to make up the difference while being on the right side of the inch. You know, we had. A, uh, you know, a, few, a bunch of games that were last rock games, um, you know, of our five losses, three of them were last rock games and we were in almost every single one. So, you know, if we can get ourselves back to something like this, we, uh, we know what to expect. We just have to come in a little looser and it's, it's impossible to come in loose to this event not having played. Right. I feel like knowing you, your priority, thinking ahead, uh, what are the things you need to work on to get back to Regina next year? Yeah, uh, honestly, just more of the same. We just got to start a little hotter, kind of carry a bunch of momentum into the year and put ourselves maybe closer into the wild card race so there's not a lot as much pressure on provincials. You know, we were really, really, uh, really, really grinding for provincials this year, but, you know, it's, it's more of the same. This game is so mental when it comes to this level, and the guys that end up at the end of the week are the ones that can control that the best. They, they can play as good as they do all year in an environment like this. And uh, I think just preparing for that, knowing what to expect, that'll help us a ton. Uh, Brad, congratulations on your 169th win at the Briar um, to clinch top spot in Pool B, which is so crucial. Yeah, it's a big win, obviously avoiding that 2-3 game, which is an elimination game tomorrow afternoon. That's nice. Uh, you know, now we got to see who we're going to play and be ready for it. I think we built all week. Uh, we started off really slow, but uh, the last day and a half, I felt like, you know, this is probably the best we played all year. Uh, you did tell us on the show there would be game rest, and it certainly looked there like was. it. But yeah. in the last three games, you've held your opponents to three points. Yeah. Um, the previous three, they were averaging about eight points. Is yeah. this more the Goose team that, we're used to see? Yeah, it's, it's more our style of play. You know, we were trying to play this style, but we just weren't executing as well as we'd like and got ourselves into, into some trouble, and we had to make some shots just to get out of it. But here we really controlled the play each and every end and uh, kept things pretty simple when we didn't have last rock. And... You know, forced them and then get our deuce and force them and get our deuce. You know, the boring old curling that we kind of like to play. Uh, not wide open blanks, but just, you know, force deuce is kind of, uh, you know, our strategy. My last question, speaking of the word boring, uh, you have said in the past sometimes that as you get later in your career, the big games, the bright lights, this point of the briar is what you really get yeah. excited for. Does it hit a different gear now? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, um, you know, really it started yesterday. Uh, when we played, or two days ago when we played Brendan, knowing that that was for first place, or, you know, assuming we won out. And then today, just making sure we finish that job. You know, and now the playoffs, like these games all, they start to matter. And that's when you get the, a little bit of nerves. And, you know, something as you get older in your career, you struggle to get because you played so many, so many games. But uh, certainly I've had it over the last couple of games, the, uh, you know, the excitement to go out there and throw. And I think that's translated into some pretty good curling. Brad, the way the playoffs are shaping up, it looks like it's going to be a mix of the previous Briar winners and some skips still looking for their first Briar title. Yep. How big a difference do you think that experience that you and your team has? How, is that going to make a difference? Yeah, I, I think experience uh, helps. But if you look at, you know, um, Matt Tunstone, he's been in the semifinals the last couple of years. He's got tons of experience. Like, he's capable of winning this event just as well as, you know, myself or Kevin or Brendan or any of our teams are. So. You know, I don't. I wouldn't put too much weight in it because those guys have played some really big games, and uh, they're not going to be scared by that moment when we get out there on the Oni sheet. 
obviously just a very tough night. Uh, you guys did your job and just didn't get the help you needed. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously a little bummed out, but uh, I mean, yeah, we did play well in our game. We did we did get a job done, but I guess that's what happens when you're relying on other games. Uh, it wasn't up to us anymore, and sadly didn't go our way. I'll for say on this one, if you don't mind. Did, did, did you feel as a team you took some steps this prior in terms of progression as a team? Oui, uh, ben c'est définitivement le meilleur prior qu'on a joué jusqu'à présent. Pour moi, pour ma part du moins, euh, le premier comme skip. Euh, on a eu une bonne performance et c'est décevant de, de finir comme ça. Mais on est quand, on va en ressortir peut-être dans une ou deux semaines. On va être content de, de, de notre résultat. And again, en français, you've got some work to do. Obviously, you're looking forward to October wearing that Maple Leaf at the World Mixed. Uh, oui, ben oui, ça va être le prochain focus. Là. En fait, il y a le mix double à Sudbury la semaine, dans deux semaines. Ça va être ça en premier. Mais après ça, on va éviter. Ouais, on va, on va, on va travailler fort pour représenter le Canada au championnat du, du monde de mix, euh, mixte. Wins a win, a win, but I'm sure you didn't want to leave it. Uh, you know. Well, that's a big win. <laughs> I know, I know, but. Um, yeah, you know what? It's uh, you know it, it's it's tough playing um, a team playing loose, and I thought they they played a great game, um, so that was tough. Uh, you know, they're despite the record, you know, the Sturme team, uh, they're they're a really solid team, and they had a good night. And uh, you know, we just uh, we had to work through that. Um, you know, that was a great comeback, but wow. Uh, you know, feel fortunate to actually have had a shot to win the way that last end was going. And your own team's performance, how was it? How would you rank it? Yeah, like we're we still got room to improve. Uh, you know, we're playing well enough to stay in games and you know obviously get a shot to win, but uh, um, we're gonna have to be better tomorrow. Um, yeah, we just we got some loose throws. We just you know missing draws through the house, uh, light. You know some head scratchers, and that. You know, a world of hurt comes at you when that happens. You know, you give teams opportunities to capitalize on that. And, you know, we're going to be playing somebody who, I think we play Cooey. Does that sound right? We're going to be, you give him an opportunity. He's best world class at pouncing on you. So we're going to be sharper tomorrow. Mike, does it give you some, some solace that you really were sort of in a must win situation after four games? You were two and two. You, you sort of had your yeah. back against the wall and you've, You've rattled off four straight now, going into another seemingly elimination game. Yeah, <laughs> one more, and then maybe a couple of lives, right? Um, you know, I, 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 I really like that this team dug deep to get this done, get into the final six. Um, to be honest, I haven't, I haven't made the playoffs, um, you know, so to speak, uh, since the change, since the two pool split. So to kind of break that feels good. Because uh, it's, uh, I've, I've, been, I've, I've come come away from this event very frustrated the last few years. So uh, it feels good, like you said, to rattle off that four, go on a winning streak. Um, you know, despite it was a little ugly, but we got it done. So that 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 part feels really good. Well, just to that.